it lay there on the side of the road, a subtle box. Inside it, a standard television set, nothing extravagant, but very nice. A sign is attached. It reads, FREE! You're tempted by the offer, a seemingly perfect television, with all parts included, free of charge, no questions asked, but you're taken back by it. Why on earth would any person leave a free TV for any stranger who stumbles upon it? You set rationality aside and pick up the box. You take it back to your place of residence and set everything up. By the time everything is ready, it's late. But you've worked hard to put this together. And you're going to watch some television before heading to bed. You turn the television on. The glare is now the only source of light in the entire room. It starts in a, on an apparently random channel. Number 371. It's a dark living room. Only visible by a glaring, unseen light source. A tall male. Presumably in this in his mid to late twenties is also in the room. He sits in front of the light source. As you watch him, you notice that only his eyes are moving in a rapid fire fashion, darting left to right, up and down. <laughs> After a while you will become somewhat bored of this and we'll start now to look at his surroundings. They're rather simple. Things you see in anybody's living room. A couch, a coffee table, etc. But then, two large white circular things appear. And they begin moving in a rapid pace around the man. He's completely unaware of this. You're intrigued by these things and cannot help but stare at them, wherever they may lead you. Eventually, the man is attacked, oh no, by this thing, and the screen goes entirely black with no glaring. You may assume this means the television is broken. But it's not. It turns back on again in another location. But this time, a rather large woman is sitting on the edge of her bed, looking at a glaring light source, and her eyes are darting in the same fashion as the previous person. The same thing occurs. Two large white circular objects appear and go in several directions behind the unsuspecting woman. You again follow them, and cannot help it. As in the previous video, the thing attacks the woman! <gasps> oh no! And the screen cuts to complete darkness. Mm, now, the same process occurs three more times, but then, just before the final video, a small red light turns on from the top of your television set. And the final video begins to play. In this video, you see yourself. And you're sitting in your living room, moving your eyes rapidly in front of a glaring light source. And two large white circular objects appear and move at the fastest rate ever. You cannot look away now. And just before the thing is going to attack you in the video, you're jumped on by something. Something large. Jet black. With two large white eyes! <laughs>